Hello and welcome to the dark side. Today I'm going to teach you how to conquer the dark mark. So you can show that you are a death eater worthy of the dark lord's true trust. To do this, you need a victim and a wand. You point your wand at the victim and you kill him. Then you point the wand in the air and you shout, Morse Mordre. This will come to the dark mark. I hope you learned something today. Now go out and kill people and come to the dark mark all over the world. So the dark lord himself will be pleased with you. <laughs> Hello, Sam Sot here with my third video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create the dark mark as seen in Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Um, this effect was requested by a guy called Krepsv or Krepsv or whatever, I can't pronounce it, but yeah. So let's watch this, alright? Alright, so I think that looks pretty good, actually. Well, uh, there is some images you need to make before starting this. Uh, it's not hard to do, and if you have Photoshop, it would be a shooting a fish in a aquarium, right? Or something like that. It's it will be very simple. So the first thing I got here is the dark mark and I found this picture on Google and I painted the skull green and cut it out. Okay, the next thing I have is a snake head also painted green. So if we take this dark mark I found on Google and painted the skull green into a new composition then what we do is we make a new white solid and call it snake tail and we make it the comp size we turn off the eyeball switch so here is where you have to be really accurate you take the pen tool and you make a mask just from the start till the end and you do not close it okay you just take it around the way the snake is curling and try not to have any sharp edges, try to have it very curved and very smooth. Okay, so I'm just going to do that now. Okay, so now I've made this um, this simple mask and as you see I start it up here and I take it down. Okay. So, uh, I've I've not used it a long and did not use a long time at this. I just did it quick, but I think it should work. So anyway, what you now do is you go to Effects, Generate, and Stroke, and then you you take the color picker and you pick the color of the skull then you can on paint style you select on transparent and you turn on the snake tail again then increase the brush size till it fits and take the dark mark about the snake tail or actually uh, actually we can remove that uh, this thing we can remove that now we don't need it anymore now at the snake tail uh, just turn the brush hardness a little down so it's not that that uh, hard and turn the spacing up a little so it looks more kind of shelly and yeah like not that even if you know what I mean okay now we can animate this. You take the end 
and drag it all the way down to zero. Then at around 10 seconds we take it all the way up to a hundred. So in between the snake tail will curl and look really good. So now we can take the snake hair that I showed you earlier and we can drag that into this composition and we take the anchor point of the snake head in the m around the middle of the snake now what we do is that when this uh, comes out we are going to animate the snake head to fit in front of this all the way okay so you so we bring up the rotation and the position and we click the stopwatch to start animating and you can use the V button and the W button to switch from rotation and position actually I'm going to scale this a little bit too it wasn't big enough alright so I'm just going to do that right now okay so now I have animated the snake head and n as you see right here it's it l you see that it's above just drag the snake head all the way down so it's been so it's beneath so here you see it comes out of the mouth and it animates and that looks pretty good so now we're in the last phase of this animation and that is the color correctioning, the glow and the brush strokes so take layer, new, adjustment layer and then we go to effect uh, color, cor color correctioning and curves and we drag it down so we get this nice green and not that bluish green then we take color correction and and oh sorry we take uh, stylize and glow here right here and then we increase the glow radius and the glow intensity a little bit so it, uh, it's a nice glow and if you want to you can say yourself done right there but I'm also going to take stylize and brush strokes and that just makes it looks it look more like in the Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire so yeah I'm going to use that and so uh, that's it really now let's just do a basic ramp alright so if we just go like okay now let's just watch this and yeah it looks pretty good and as I said the more time you spend on it the better it will look so that's everything for me um, and I'll see you in the next video tutorial thank you